Ngizwe Mkunu. The first time I met that guy is there by the by the students. June 16, yeah, something June, and I, he was brought by SG to me. I'm like, what is this one doing now on the stage? They say he's an artist or something. I said, oh, let me just be polite. So I really don't care what he thinks of me. He's the he's a, he's a smallest boy ever. I know talented artists. And I know one when I see or listen to one. There's no such a thing. So I can't entertain such things. That's why I never responded, never said anything. Even when the KZN was going up and down, I was like, is it worth it? Because sometimes, uh, anyway, the ground forces have got energy, but sometimes certain things we must just let go. Uh, because when you are a leader, you must expect such things to be said. That, that's how he feels. Um, and then he expressed himself, and then uh, they forced him to apologize. He apologized. So it's not an issue for me. Uh, even if I see him tomorrow, I will embrace him like I do with all other African kids. I have no problem, uh, none whatsoever. There's nothing personal. And support children. wrong. So you must try life different, not the way he's doing it, because now he tries life, he makes a stupid mistakes. Now a car is gone. Out of being excited and sitting on a toilet seat and say things that you're not supposed to say. On, ca on camera. Look at how much that has costed him. I wouldn't have wondered that for an African child, West artist who's trying life, uh, such an opportunity to be taken away from him. But the ground forces and the leadership of KZN felt offended and they acted on it. I, I never interacted with that situation. No one even brought it to my attention. I've not even a journalist has called me to ask me about that because I assume everybody said it's not worth. Well, Mzansi, EFF leader Judas Malema has referred to former Okozi FM presenter Ngizwe Mkunu as the smallest boy ever. Now, this is after the controversial radio man had made tribalistic remarks about him. Now, let's chat about this. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell and you'll never miss an update. Mzansi Malema was reacting for the first time since the viral video by Mkunu, who dared him to come to Wazulu Natal. Mkunu was referring to the upcoming EFF manifesto scheduled for February this year at Moses Mabida Stadium. Now, in that video, Mkunu has been heard saying Wazulu Natal is for Amazulu. He added that Malema must launch the party manifesto in Limpopo, where the EFF hails from. Why don't you host your party manifesto in your backyard in Sishiko so that your ancestors can support you? You are a leader who can't speak isi zulu the only language you know is english you address our people our zulu people in english what kind of a leader are you now the eff viewed mkunu's utterances as uh, stocking flames of tribalism and wanted the automotive company to disassociate itself with the former radio man well you won't believe this but the motor company duly acted on mkunu by distancing itself from his unbecoming remarks it uh, subsequently just cut ties with him and demanded their car back yikes mkunu bowed down to pressure and returned the car to the port shepston's branch on kzn south coast this is after initially refusing to apologize. Malema speaking during EFF press conference in Durban on Friday said, I had not known that guy until the 16th uh, June event. He was brought to me by SG Marshal Zamini. When I saw him, I said, what is this guy doing now on stage? They told me he is an artist or something. I don't care what he thinks of me. He is the smallest boy ever. But even if I see him tomorrow, I will embrace him like any other African kid. I have no problem with him 
whatsoever. Yikes. Now, the Red Beret leader added that while he understands that Ngizu was trying to earn a living by posting his social media videos, he chose the wrong way this time. He is doing this, uh, he's doing his best to support his children, but he goes about it in the wrong way. Out of being excited sitting in the toilet, he made a stupid mistake by saying things he should not have said. Look now, the car is gone, and look how much this has cost him, said Malema. Now, there you have it, Mzansi. All this started with Mgizu Mkunu just making his uh, random usual videos. This time around, it was viewed, obviously, as uh, tribalism. And uh, the motor vehicle sponsor said, now we don't uh, deal or handle or work with tribalists. So please do bring our car back. And they distanced themselves to Mgizu Mkunu. This goes to show, Mzansi, it's 2024. Just be mindful and careful of your actions. Some of the thoughts that you have should be kept to thyself. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment sections. You know, I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot, just the way you like it.